Hello and welcome to a new Blender architecture video. Uh, for this video I'm gonna test out the roof. Somebody pointed out that I may have misplaced it. So I'm gonna run a um, rain simulation and we'll see how it works. So to add rain I'll need something that emits rain like a cloud but I'm not gonna make a cloud. I'm going to add a plane. I'm gonna press G and Z to move it above the house. And I'm gonna press the tilde key then eight for my top view. And now I want to center it. So I, pre I press G then Y, move it to towards the middle. Then G and X to move it towards center. I press S to scale. I move it out, fill it up. That's probably a good size. Okay. So let's get a better view of it. I'm gonna move it a little bit higher with G and Z. Okay, and then uh, to create an emitter simulation, you go to the right, this tab, uh, particle properties, and then you press here. Uh, this plus sign to add a particle system and there you have it now you can press play to run the simulation and yeah that's like rain um, but it's all going through the roof so I need to add one more thing to my simulation I need to make the the roof like a solid object or a collision object, so I need physics. It's down here. This is your physics tab, and we're gonna enable physics for collision. Now you can see that the particles are not going through, but they're bouncing a lot, which I don't think rain would do that. So uh, we need to make them stickier. So we go here to particle, and then a stickiness, and I'm gonna increase that number. Let's try 10. And now you see that the particles are not bouncing. They're sticking to, to the roof. And by taking a closer look, we can see in between the tiles, some of them are getting stuck. Uh, yeah, which would make this a bad roof. It, um, yeah, those would just seep through, and this would be a leaky roof. I need to fix that. I'm going to pause the simulation, and then on the top right, I'm going to press this little eye icon for the plane. I can hide my simulation for now. Okay, so I need to flip my roof. Now these tiles down here, need to go up here and then these tiles need to go on the other side I need to use a mirror function under object you'll find it up here you go to mirror and you can globally mirror it which, which uses your regular XYZ coordinate or you can mirror it local which uses the uh, the axis system for your object, in this case this roof. Uh, so I'm going to mirror it locally. But first I need to find the origin of this object. I go to object and I'm going to set it actually. I want it right at the center of the mass. So I click that. And we see here that the origin at the center of just this one tile only this tile so that means that when they built this roof they only built one tile and then they um, applied arrays to uh, yeah to make the other tiles and probably other modifiers so we know we need to finalize those modifiers and you do that by going to the modifier tab here's this little range and you can see all the modifiers that they use 
for this object. Um, they use a solidify modifier and we need to apply that. So click, click apply, apply. And they use subdivision. We apply that as well. X array modifier, apply. And a Y array modifier. And we apply that as well. This collision is the one we made uh, for our simulation. So I'll just keep it there because we're going to simulate it again. Um, okay, so now I can go ahead and put the origin in the center of the entire object. I go and I do that by going to object, then origin, set origin, or origin to center of mass. And you can see now it's right at the center of the roof. Now we can mirror it. So you go to object, then mirror. And we're going to mirror on the local y-axis. So I click on that. And yeah, that flipped the roof. You can see now that it's placed correctly. Correctly. Okay. And I'm going to run the simulation one more time. So again, I display my plane emitter. And I hit play. Okay, we can take a closer look and you see the particles are not getting stuck anymore. You know, if you had rain, the water would be sliding down pretty smoothly. That's what you want on a roof. So this is a correctly placed roof. Um, thank you for watching this video.